Patients with thyroid cancer are typically treated with thyroidectomy, followed by radioiodine administration to ablate remaining normal thyroid tissue and treat any remaining disease. However, the benefits of radioiodine ablation in patients with low-risk thyroid cancer are controversial. A new study examined whether postoperative follow-up without radioiodine ablation would be non-inferior to radioiodine ablation in patients with low-risk differentiated thyroid cancer. In this Phase three multicenter randomized trial, 776 patients 18 years of age or older who had undergone total thyroidectomy two to five months earlier, were assigned to receive either follow-up alone without radioiodine ablation or radioiodine ablation. The primary endpoint was the proportion of patients without an event over three years. An event was defined as the presence of foci of radioiodine uptake outside the thyroid bed that required treatment in the radioiodine group or abnormal neck ultrasonography or elevated thyroglobulin or thyroglobulin antibody levels in both groups. The proportion of patients without an event at three years was nearly identical in the two groups, at roughly 96%. Events included structural or functional abnormalities in eight patients and biologic abnormalities in 23. No treatment-related adverse events or thyroid-related deaths occurred. The authors conclude that in patients undergoing thyroidectomy for low-risk thyroid cancer, follow-up without radioiodine ablation was non-inferior to radioiodine ablation with respect to events at three years of follow-up. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.